today I'm I'm with my mom. She is she is my best friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I'm doing my quiet time. It's six o'clock. Been up for about twenty minutes now. And I'm starting this new book with my college girls. The whole house is quiet and still sleeping, which is the best. I think that I'm gonna be doing a day in the life today. I didn't have a video idea for this week, so I have been so heavy hearted about Kobe Bryant helicopter crash. Like it has been just consuming me. It's just a little bit of a wake up call for the whole world. Um, and just the shortness and the f and the brevity of life. It's the state of my heart this morning, just kind of in mourning and it's really sad. I hate going to bed with dishes, but I was so tired last night and our house has been a disaster. Are you excited for school? Yeah. Yeah? You love school, huh? Pools and smoothie yogurt. Easy breakfast. Meetings, lunch. Maybe a baseball draft tonight. Oh my god! By the way, there's water in that plant next to my bed. I kicked it. And the water came out. Okay. I didn't know there was water in there. The plant was on the ground. Breakfast lately, I've been totally into oatmeal. This is a really good brand. I like that these are also gluten free. Then I add about a tablespoon of chia seeds. This is half a cup of oatmeal. Tablespoon of chia seeds. This cooks up pretty fast. And then I put in half of banana and I caramelize the banana pieces. Uh, it's, it's so good. Here is my breakfast. I put on top of the oatmeal with chia seeds, the bananas, a few berries, and then cinnamon and a little bit of Nashville peanut butter. Super good and super filling for the day. So we are redoing the girls' room and let me show you, it is crazy in here. We put all three kids in here. What are you doing? Just insanity back here. We decided to rip out their closet and do bunk beds, yes. So this is their room. I'm gonna do a whole video on these built-ins with the before and afters, but we're hoping that this is done next weekend because it's really hard to live with stuff everywhere. I mean, this is embarrassing, you guys, but it's this room reflects my brain. It is crazy, but I know it's gonna be worth it to have all this extra space. And because we ripped out that large closet, it was super inefficient. Just, ugh, it, those doors were so heavy to open. We decided over here, we'll build out a little mini closet. So obviously these two beds will go and it will just free up all this space. And I wanna get rid of all the shabby chic painting, maybe this built-in shelf system. But the girls just need a bigger area to have all their toys and to play with. And some of the photos I found on Pinterest really inspire me for a cute built-in. But pretty big job. this whole piece. So good. You love doing puzzles, don't you? So you're gonna wear those with what shirt? This. Oh, great. That's a win for mom. Usually she puts up a fight, don't ya? Your outfit, can you get a little spin? Woo! Little kindergartner. Okay, one new thing that I've been using that I don't think I've shared on here is this Kula Sun Silk Drops, SBF 30. And it's super fine and delicate. Two or three drops, what it says it is. It's like really silky, really good after you've finished all of your serums and your lotion. And it's just good extra sun protection for the day. Walk the kids up the hill to school. We live really close to their school. And then Florence and I might go on a mini little run. On this foundation, Tint Skin Beauty Counter. I use it in the color Sand Sable. This has been good stuff. So I just usually use that much for my whole face. 
just gives a nice light coverage. Again, I'll do my full makeup later, maybe. <laughs> do a dusting of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Take my brush and just gives my skin a nice little blur. <laughs> still getting lash extensions but do you see how terrible they are i need to get them filled and i'm not going till thursday so still loving glossier boy brow do a little like this the clinique high impact mascara i'm just gonna take and fill in okay two things that i'm obsessed with my mom gave us these they're more like terry cloth face towels I had my other ones, but these are so much better. And I just love them, so I'm gonna link to them on Amazon. I bought these on Amazon, they're $25. They're the Color Folka brand. I'm now in two colors, this is the black. Sorry, there's all this like fuzz from the dryer. And then I have this like charcoal gray. They fit me perfectly. They have this little side pocket for your phone. This is the cropped fit, which is awesome because I am 5'2 and they hit me right at my ankles and they're so comfortable so soft they're so stretchy they're not see-through 25 bucks i'm obsessed so i'll link to those below if you guys want to check it out and get a pair sure beats a hundred dollar leggings recess recess and what do you like to play Tag. tell everybody what grade you're in now second <laughs> Such a run. <laughs> Goodness, does he talk? Well, when he wants to. Say hi, Hello. Murphy. How are you? Hi. hi. <gasps> wow, Florence. How are you? How are you? Wow. Hello. Say hello. Hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi Zizi. Oh. And then um, we'll come. Um, Orphy baby. Cradle and oh. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Point Loma OB, do you see? How to say hi. I don't know, sweetie. She's taught him how to say hi. Okay, workout done. That pair is so interesting. Glad I caught that on film today. Anyways, do you guys use a diffuser? The perfect tiny little size, but it works super great. And I found it on Amazon for 20 bucks. My house was smelling like so fishy from this weekend that I'm like, I need diffuser. So I put some lemon, lavender, and orange essential oil. I use doTERRA in here. And uh, getting back from my walk, the kitchen smells so much better. I am making the best meatballs ever from Alex, who runs Define Dish. And I have to run into the store really quick and grab a few ingredients. Home. Leave it for her to come home for a surprise when she gets home from work. More stop. Is your friend? Yeah. You're gonna take these and the box. Lunch. I am obsessed with Asian salads, so I usually buy one of these and it lasts me a lunch or two. So I just and I try to add some protein to it. And I have leftover chicken from last night. This is Florence's lunch. And Mama's lunch. Um, we watch Sports Center for two seconds. Like the uh, helicopter crash. Gosh. Can 
confessions. <laughs> I just woke up from a little nap, but I am going to prepare dinner now. Lawrence is napping. She still naps every day, which is awesome, and it allows me time to get some things done. I have to go wake her up before we go get Beckman Amelie. So, I thought that I would make my meatballs now while the house is quiet. I can put on a podcast, just have a little bit of me time. She is like my all time favorite. She has the most incredible restaurant worthy recipes. And her new cookbook is actually out, which is so good. So I'll link to that below if you want to check it out. But Alex's meatballs are so amazing. If you want to look them up, it's the Epic Whole 30 Baked Meatballs. Um, I'm telling you, they're awesome. You do have to get out the food processor. Oh, another favorite thing for you. Have you guys tried these seltzer waters from Trader Joe's? Oh, they're so good. 15 calories, two grams of sugar, but it's just fruit sugar. I've just been in such a funk today with everything that happened yesterday and just the tragic accident. I have been so heavy hearted. I'm sure you feel the same. I think the whole world is just feeling this tragic loss and I keep thinking, why? Why is it such so different than other things? And I think it's because it was so sudden, so tragic. And I think about all the people on that plane, they were all just really world changers. They were out there making an impact in big and huge ways, not just Kobe and Gianna, but it was like the other coaches and the parents and the children, how precious life is and how not to take a minute for granted and how, um, like, I don't know about you, but I want to leave this world for the better. I want to leave people encouraged and lifted up. And um, I just, that's all you have is your legacy, you know? like. That's all you've got. And so we spend so much time just so focused on the stupidest stuff that it's like, gosh. So I've been just heavy hard with that today. It's been hard for me to film this and like go about my day just doing mundane things. And it's like, man, these families are just this brokenness. What are you gonna do? Ooh, pretty. Okay, come sit down. Kids are picked up from school. Amelie is at a play date and we had Beckham's little friend make Landon come over and play while the girls are up the street at a play date. And I'm kind of starting dinner. I decided to get the pizza dough out of the fridge that I had from Trader Joe's and just do a little bit of olive oil, crushed garlic, and then some of their Quattro Formaggio cheese blend on top. It just makes like a really good cheesy garlic bread little side dish to the pasta and meatballs and salad. And don't mind the shape, it looks like Texas. That's hilarious. I promise this little one I paint her nails. No opening it. Is that the same one you got? Huh? A different color, pink. Different, but similar. Pretty. Yeah. This is the best store jarred pasta sauce. Rouse homemade, you can buy it at Costco, most grocery stores, and there's no added sugars, which is so rare, sadly, for pasta sauce, and it's really delicious. So, cook the meatballs at a high temp for 20 minutes, and then you take them out after they're browned, and then cook them longer on a lower heat with the pasta sauce on top. Mm. Prettiest time of day. Cannot believe this is January. It's so beautiful out. I wish you could you hear the waves. Rose bushes are going off. Trying the bread. <laughs> Delicious. The plate eight. Did you guys have fun? Mm -hmm. you, can share, you can share a seat with Beck. What? Oh. Thank you. Buckle in. It does not look safe. It, it tells you from Wimpy to Whirl the Navy Seal way. Ooh. So it tells you how to do it. How to become a warrior? Yeah, it tells, it tells you the story. 
can you read it to me tonight? Maybe. This little girl is learning to read and write, huh? Show everybody your teeth that you've missed. You've lost how many teeth now? Two teeth. And what else happened over Christmas break? Um, I got my ears pierced. So special. And then I'm going to last four more teeth out. You're going to lose four more? Yeah. Florence, do you want to get your ears pierced when you turn five? No. <laughs> he hurt. With his Not own today. money. Yeah, well, last night and it came. He bought his own watch. Saved up his money. Whoa. 40, 45. Come on. 45, done. Did you guys like it? Uh-uh. <laughs> Not uh Why? Because it's my two socks. Yeah. Sadly, I accidentally used the Aribata sauce. No, I'm not going to do something with that crema. Spicy. If you're serving this to your kids, just use a general tomato basil sauce. Otherwise, it's delicious on my hand. I have no more energy left. So, I'm going to say goodbye here. And I love you guys. I'm going to put the laundry away. Put my pajamas on. I am so tired. Emotionally drained from the day. Thanks for spending today with us though, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll do this again soon. Okay, bye.